What's up everyone? This is Andrew Hendricks. This is another video for the MLB Fan Cave 2014. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the time when I met the greatest closer in Blue Jays history and arguably one of the finest of his generation, Mr. Tom Hankey, back when I worked at the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. It was his induction day. Uh, it was a beautiful day in St. Mary's. Tons of people had come out. The, the whole ceremony went off without a hitch. Everything was excellent. Um, it was after the ceremony. Some people had started to go home. Uh, Tom Hankey being the type of person that he is, he stuck around you know, to sign a lot of autographs and everything. And I guess he was scheduled to throw out the ceremony for, ceremonial first pitch at a baseball game later that day in St. Mary's. So the time came for him to be taken down to the baseball field. And you know what, Scott, the, uh, the director of operation, comes up to me and he's like, listen, I'm going to need you to take him down to, uh, down to the diamond over there. He's going to throw out this first pitch. I'm like, sure, no problem. Drive Tom Hankey. Why not, right? I'm like, where are the keys to the flex? Because that was the car that we were taking around. It was a rental car that we had gotten for the weekend to uh, kind of chauffeur VIPs around and everything. Scott looks at me. He's like, the flex is gone. We're gonna, you're going to have to take your car. I'm like, my car? You sure about that? You gotta understand, I was driving a beater car at this point. It was a 1998 Dodge Neon. It was white, it was rust all over it. The damn thing squealed every single time you started it, even in the summer when it wasn't cold outside. It was brutal. And he looks me square in the face, like, yeah, we're gonna need to take your car. So at this point, I'm nervous as all hell. I gotta walk up to Hanky and I gotta let him know, you know, hey, Tom, you know, we're gonna take you down to the baseball game right now, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to go in this neon. And, uh,. It, it was hilarious because he was fine about it, you know, he, he came in, he sat in the car, and everybody knows how big Tom Hankey is. Well, when he was sitting in my car, he was his knees were up like this. I'm not kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. Totally embarrassed. I turned the key. The thing squeals. And, uh, you know, he laughed about it, but he said, you know, everybody's got cars like this or has had cars like this at some point in their life. And uh, for the most part, it was kind of a funny experience. We did get to the baseball game. The car did not blow up somehow. I'm surprised to this day that it didn't blow up. That would have been just my luck, you know, to have the greatest Blue Jays closer in franchise history sitting in my car the day it decides to blow up. But it didn't, and uh, he laughed it off. And it was a, it was a great, it's a great story that I like to tell people because, you know, it speaks a lot to his character, and it, you know, as a human and as an as a ex-baseball player. Because this is a guy that experienced a ton of success on um, baseball's biggest stage, but he never really let that go to his head, and he stuck true to his uh, to his small town roots. So there it is. That's my Tom Hankey story. Um, if you guys want to hear any other great stories, you know, just ask. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can go over to my Facebook page. You can like the Facebook page. You can connect with me that way. Um, just uh, get in touch with me, and we'll talk later.